I knew that the Alliance would flourish on Odessan, but I didn't expect this place to feel so much like home. You should be proud of what you've built here, and the allies you've gained. Valkorion is dead. There's nothing to keep them here anymore. No, they're here because they believe in something. Or rather, someone. The Alliance is still a formidable power, but we're not strong enough to face the Republic or the Empire. Unfortunately, a confrontation is inevitable. There are skirmishes in wild space, riots on Quesh. Galactic war is imminent. We can no longer afford neutrality. If the Alliance is to survive, we must align ourselves with the Republic or the Empire. Whatever you decide, we'll follow your lead. You're right, Lana. Now's the time. So who do you wish to support? The Republic or the Empire? I'd rather support the Empire. Of course. With your reputation, you could easily take down the Republic from the inside. It's unlikely you'd be fighting the Republic openly. But this would mean sabotage. The death of your former allies. I'll support your decision either way, but please don't enter into this lightly. I'm well aware of the consequences. The Empire is where I belong. I had a feeling you might. We'd received some subtle inquiries from the Empire, but I never acted on them. I'll reach out to our contacts. Welcome to the Empire.
Stand by for examination and suggested products. Welcome. Please select an available travel route. Have a safe and pleasant stay. rate normal, breathing normal, conscience questionable. I didn't come here to be mocked. Where's your master? Away on urgent business. He has authorized me to speak on his behalf. I'm Advanced Protocol Unit NRO2. I specialize in diplomacy, translation, manslaughter, and calumniation. While your change of heart is commendable, my master believes you can best serve the Empire by appearing to support the Republic. There's got to be another way. I'm tired of working for those hypocrites. Then use their ideals against them. You've earned the trust, so now we can exploit it. We know what the Republic is after. The dwindling medical supplies, fuel, and raw resources necessary to win this war. With your assistance, we can seize them from their grasp. You must also look for opportunities to undermine the Republic's confidence and to sow discontent among their troops. If I'm facing Imperial forces, I can't guarantee there won't be casualties. Acceptable losses, naturally. Do what you must to avoid suspicion, but we would ask you to avoid excessive damages. There are reports of a conflict brewing on the planet Osis. With your help, the Alliance could tip the balance in the Empire's favor. In the meantime, return to Odessa to await further contact. I trust you'll remember, this meeting never happened. Commander, thank you for taking the time to speak with me. Ardenando Dipolis Derun. 
I oversee the Republic's deployments along the Parlimian hyperroute. I only wish we were speaking in person. I just brewed a truly invigorating blend of Gatiland and tea. Do you enjoy tea, Commander? You didn't contact me to discuss tea. Not exclusively, at any rate. A beautiful planet, Gatalenta. Its people are renowned for their long and steadfast support of the Jedi. It is the Jedi I wish to discuss with you today. I'm afraid I haven't been in contact with the Jedi Order in some time. You are not alone in that. Few Jedi survived the war against Sakul. They've gone into hiding, scattered across the galaxy. I'm not even sure how many council members remain. You're a soldier. Why do you care what's happened to the Jedi? The Jedi are the soul of the Republic, and our most able defenders. I do not believe we can survive without them. I did manage to learn of one surviving member of the Jedi Council. Master Nostral. My sources tell me he's in hiding. On the planet Osus. The ancient home of the Jedi. All but destroyed by the Sith centuries ago. Indeed. I'm told that Master Nostaral took as many Jedi as possible, along with civilian volunteers, to establish a hidden colony on the planet. Unfortunately, the colony doesn't seem to be hidden any longer. I've tracked Imperial forces moving through the area. I believe the Jedi are in grave danger. You don't think the Jedi can handle a few Imperial soldiers? I think we're talking about more than a few Imperials. The Jedi colony is completely off the grid, and any warning I try to send will only lead the Sith directly to them. Osis is at the far end of the Parlemian hyperroute, practically the Empire's front door. I have no official authority to intervene. I'm gathering the resources to launch reinforcements regardless. But without authorization, it's taking time. Time the Jedi may not have. You aren't bound by Republic regulations. You can help faster than I can. Please, travel to Osis. Protect the Jedi until my forces can arrive. They need our help. I'd hope to never get involved in Jedi politics again. You'll owe me one, General. The entire Republic will owe you one, Commander. I'll forward the coordinates for the Jedi settlement. There is one final catch. Initially, you must go with a light force, perhaps even alone. Approaching with an attack group of any significance is sure to provoke a massive Imperial escalation long before I can respond in kind. What do you expect me to accomplish alone that the Jedi can't do themselves? All Jedi are formidable, but you, you're in a class all to yourself. If any one person can make a difference, it's you. May the Force be with you, Commander. I hope to be sharing the next cup with you in person very soon. Don't get your hopes up, General. The General is very shrewd. Going in alone is the best move here. I'll have a shuttle prepared, something small and stealthy. It may sound strange, but I'd actually always hoped to meet Nostaral someday. His journals, what the Empire could obtain of them, were fascinating. We'll have you on your way to Osis as soon as possible. May the Force serve you well.
<laughs> it's you! It's really you! All right. Nadia, cancel the whole evacuation. I don't care what's coming for us. We have got nothing to worry about. <laughs> He's wonderful at introductions, isn't he? I'm Nadia Gurel. You were the Battlemaster, weren't you? Back before Zakul invaded? Yes, that's right. Toughest Jedi I ever knew. We took on things you could never even imagine. Are you hearing me? I don't care how many imps are here. They're toast. So you know about the Imperials? Yes. We don't know how many there are, but they have serious resources. If they're here, it's for a major fight, and we can't afford to give them one. Civilians and non-essentials are loading up first. Who calls a doctor non-essential when there's a fight brewing? You ask me, the Jedi have lost their minds. Save the whining for later, Doc. Take me to Nostral. Now. I'll be happy to oblige you in just a moment. Dr. Kimball, Nadia, how go the shuttle preparations? We'd be a lot further along if we hadn't borrowed so many of the shuttle's parts for the colony systems. It's going to be hours before we can launch. We should be calling the whole thing off. Do you know who this is? Hero of Tython, Slayer of the Emperor? Ring any bells? I command the Alliance now. We overthrew the Eternal Empire and destroyed the Sith Emperor, once and for all. I've come to help. Well, sounds like a lot's happened since we cut our communications. Which helped to keep us hidden all this time. I am quite familiar with your past service to the Jedi, Commander. And I look forward to updating my journals with your more recent exploits. It's probably time you had a chapter all your own, but that will have to wait. The Sith are on our doorstep. I formed this colony to safeguard the Jedi and their teachings for the future. Now, we must abandon it to serve that same goal. Republic reinforcements are coming. We just have to hold out until they get here. We welcome any help they can offer. But until they arrive, our plan must remain the same. We have to get these shuttles ready as soon as possible. If the Sith are here, we should destroy them, not run away. Employing the same single-minded, oblivious thirst for blood as our enemies will not keep the Jedi whole for generations to come. Perimeter alarms. They're coming again. I'm on my way to handle it. Hmm. Yes. Take backup this time. Backup? I got all the backup I need right here. Commander, this is Tau Adair, our head of security. Would you be willing to join her in holding off the enemy as we complete our preparations? Let's see if she's got the skills to back up that attitude. You must have lots of friends. We'll leave you to it then. Nadia, Dr. Kimball, let's see how the farming crews are doing. I'll find you later. I've got to hear what you've been up to. What did your sensors pick up? Imperial soldiers? Sith? Neither. The imps are just toying with us. The old man's pretty sure they're being led by a Sith named Melora. Melora's into biology. Genetic manipulation, Sith alchemy, blah blah blah. She makes monsters. For us, she's cooked up some kind of mutated Geonosians. Hyper-aggressive, heavily armored, psychotic Geonosians. With weapons making their way toward the colony in swarms. Sounds like you'll definitely need my help. I haven't so far. Osis is riddled with old buried ruins. The mutants like to cut through them to approach unseen. We get out there and collapse a few tunnels, they'll be cut off and the colonists will have a lot more time to move. Then let's get to it. After you, Commander. an assignment for you. Proceed to the water distribution systems nearby.
We've been out of contact so long now. Do we even know of a safe place to go next? Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. Being safe out there. been living at the colony since the beginning almost five years now five years of peace and quiet we had a good run of course it took me nearly two of those years just to relax i was sure someone would show up looking for blood they always do
How many Jedi were left after the war with Sakul? We honestly aren't sure. After the Republic surrendered, the old man didn't want to risk getting an accurate count with names in case Sakul got a hold of it. So we all went to ground to watch, wait, and rebuild. Not my first choice, but I see the wisdom in it. May the Force be with you. Do you know where the rest of the Jedi are? There were still contingents on Tython and Ilum last we checked. Didn't bother calling the Green Jedi, they'd never leave Corellia. Most are probably hiding in groups on far-off planets like we did. Or walking their own path, following the Force. That was my plan, originally. Who changed your mind? The old man. He's always understood me best. He convinced me that this was where I needed to be, and I think he was right. One more bomb. Just 
to be sure. Won't that destroy the whole structure? We need to make sure this tunnel is closed off. No sense holding back. <sighs> Last one. Judging by your technique, you must have done a lot of fighting before you came here. More than most, more than they ever trained us for. My first battle was Corellia. I flew in on a transport with five of the Jedi, one of the ones with the open sides, you know. The pilot took us in low between the buildings. We're in midair, and this Sith Lord, he just jumps right into the transport. Red lightsaber in each hand. Five of my oldest friends were dead before they could even blink. They might have been your friends, but they couldn't have been very good Jedi. They were good Jedi. They just weren't fighters. The Sith had turned toward the pilot before my friends even hit the floor. I was behind him before he ever knew I was there. I nailed him with both hands. Hit the nerve clusters that run just over the ribs. Felt them crack. He dropped both lightsabers on reflex. I don't remember where the grenade came from. It must have been his. I smashed it right into his mouth and shoved him back out of the transport. Monsters like that deserve whatever they get. You did well. My first real fight as a Jedi, and I didn't even use my lightsaber. Let's check in with the old man. Now, what's your status? We've closed all the tunnels we could find. Sending coordinates now. Any chance you could backtrack to their source on some of the old maps? Of course. Let's see. Yes, here we are. They were all part of a residential structure that must have largely collapsed centuries ago. I'm sending coordinates for the structure's main entrance. If you can seal that, the mutants' hidden approaches will be cut off completely. I came here thinking this was some kind of major emergency, but this is a joke. Melora's efforts aren't focused yet, but the Dark Council will expect results. We must be gone before they crack down on her experiment. The entrance you're closing is located in an area our archaeologists never fully cataloged. If you find anything of interest, please do your best to recover it. Will do. Tao out. Ready when you are. business only.
the plan? If the Sith had never shown up, what was the goal for the colony? Recover enough territory that we could grow crops and sustain more people. Then go find the people. I would have set out with the team to find other Jedi and bring them back here if they chose. We would rebuild the Order. Instead, looks like we're back to war. More of them, a lot more. There must be an army of them below us. Come <laughs> on. 
Looks like we're finished here. I can't get the old man on the hollow. We'd better head back and make sure nothing's happened. Our sensors are being jammed, along with our communications, both short and long range. Disruptions like this can mean only one thing. Invasion. The Empire will come in earnest now. This doesn't fit Melora's pattern. She never bothered to disable enemy communications during her siege of Nantun. Something very strange is happening. We have to move quickly. Many of our people are still outside the colony. Some at the farms, and the rest at the ancient library. We should split up. You don't need to act like we have a choice, old man. No way you're leaving this planet without seeing that library one more time. Not just a library, but a really old library? Sounds thrilling. You might be surprised. The first shuttles will start launching while we gather the stragglers. They could send a distress signal once they escape the jamming zone. If the Republic hasn't shown up yet, we shouldn't count on them. The shuttles would be safer keeping quiet. The commander is right. We wouldn't want to risk the imps picking them up. Very well. I'll pass that along to the pilots. Before you go, Tao, we need to finish our discussion about your Padawan. Now? Really? This feels like a good time. It is always a good time to learn, teach, and grow. We already had this discussion, which is why I don't have a Padawan. You don't want more Jedi like me. One is bad enough. You think that if so many good Jedi die and you survive, then you must not be a good Jedi. You think that the reason you've survived your skill in battle is the only skill you've mastered, so you must be a bad Jedi. But the only lesson you need to learn is that you are more than the killer you see in yourself. Teach, and you will see just how much more. Tao is skilled, but she still has a lot to learn. I don't think she's ready for the responsibility of a Padawan. Respectfully, you've only just met. You do not know her full capabilities as I do. Look, can we just... can we save this for later? The imps aren't waiting around, and neither should we. Very well. You check on the farms, I'll check on the library. And we'll meet afterward... to select your Padawan. Damn it, old man. May the Force be with you. business only.
Aria can't just leave. Not now. You have to. Take the others and get moving. I can handle a few Sith. We're here to help. Tau! Commander, you're just in time. Cesarios, now we can handle whatever the Empire throws at us. It's not about you. If the Imps land a single shot on D9 before he finishes, we'll lose everything. What do you mean? All of our data! We grew crops in a radioactive wasteland. What we've learned could increase crop yields all across the Republic. Imagine how many people we could feed. We'll handle it, Zarios. We need you to head to the shuttles and get everyone loaded up. The faster, the better. If we're going to keep that droid safe, we can't be tripping over your worthless corpses while we're fighting. Son of a... Who do you think you are? Imperials coming in fast. Get moving, Zarios. I won't say it again! All right, all right. Let's go. Everyone okay? Good here. I'm glad we got Zarios and the others out of here. That got a bit exciting. D9, were you able to get the files? I'll keep this safe until we can transmit the data to the Republic. Thanks. Zarios and his crew spent years making these farms happen. It will mean a lot to them that their work is safe. 
Speaking of, I'd better catch up with him and the rest of the crews. Make sure they get back to the colony safely. Really appreciate the help, Commander. We're lucky you joined us when you did. I'll meet you both back at the shuttles. We should hurry to the old library. If they sent a force like this just for some farms, there's no telling how many troops they sent there. You're right. Let's get moving. You are cleared for the following travel routes.
There must be something. 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 Somewhere. Where? Where? Drop your weapon. Now. Oh, such a mess. Always such a blasted mess with him. Where is Nostaral? What have you done to him? What? Oh, the Jedi. Over there somewhere. But you're rather too late to help him, I think. Wrong answer. You don't seem like you care about the Jedi at all. Why are you even here? My purpose is beyond your feeble comprehension. Leave me to my work. We're not going anywhere. Tiresome. Ignorant. <gasps> you speak to Darth Malora of the Dark Council. And your interruptions end now. Die and be silent, fools! Something different about these mutants. Watch out! That Geonosian is healing the other somehow. Take it down! Ignorant fools! He's alive. Barely, but he's alive. Truly? <sighs> Lord Malgus has lost his edge. Malgus? Oh, yes. This is all his handiwork. I would never make such a mess of a library. Even one belonging to a Jedi. Malgus usurped my entire operation. A veritable ballet of predatory evolution, discarded in favor of the bludgeoning fist of a toddler. That's impossible. Malgus died years ago. Apparently it didn't take. Malgus is alive, here on this planet. Though operational might be more accurate. A machine with pieces of a desiccated Sith Lord bolted into it hardly deserves to be called alive. Life is far more variable, more adaptable. Capable of true change, and thus, true power. The Force is life, and only life can truly command its depth. Will you shut up? Malgus or not, we have to get the old man back to the colony, now. Stabilize him as best you can. But if Malgus is here, taking him down has to be our first priority. No, no, we are not losing him. You realize Malgus is on his way to burn your colony to the ground, yes? He could hardly say he finished my work if he leaves it standing. That would be the now. Thirty seconds to objective, my lord. Enemy 
fighters, evade! Rest assured, I brought tea. It's about time, Dayrune. Do you have any idea how long we've been waiting? Longer than I ever hoped. I do apologize. Can you bring medics to our position? We have urgently wounded people here. Right away. We'll evacuate everyone to the colony. Medical and support teams are landing as we speak. Dayrune out. Just be going, then. I don't remember saying you could leave. Taking me prisoner will waste time, and personnel that you'll need to treat the wounded, like your friend here. I'm sure I'm not worth the effort. You know something? You're absolutely right. What? Ah! I guess I'm really not the best person to lecture you for killing Sith Lords. Let's just get out of here. Four evacuation shuttles are still missing in the Kron Drift. Imperial patrols have increased dramatically. It's likely they were captured or destroyed. If only they had signaled. We honestly didn't think anyone would answer. I understand. If we could have just gotten here sooner, much could have been different. All evacuees will be transported to safety in Republic space. I know of some settlements on Tanab that could put good farmers to use, if any are interested. I'd have expected you to do more. A few bombers and a cab ride? Really? I wish I could do more, but with resources as they are, just gathering enough fuel to get us out here was a huge undertaking. Speaking of farms, I'm told you have a collection of data from the colonists' farming efforts. We were able to save a copy, but the data was corrupted. Whatever got to the farm's computers got to their data, too. It's useless. Such a tremendous shame. Food shortages are already an issue on many core worlds. It's very difficult to win a war on an empty stomach. Our people spent half a decade bringing those farms to life. This is gonna crush them. Any chance your fighters got Malgus in the attack? It's possible, but... seems a bit too much to hope for. Darth Malgus back on the front lines. This is a dark day for the Republic. We caught him off guard this time. I doubt we'll be so lucky again. Sitting here talking about him won't solve anything. Get your troops out there, find Malgus, and I'll handle him myself. We barely have the resources to evacuate, and attempting a search will only spread our troops and make them easy targets. We fight Malgus another day. Is he all right? Did he make it? Nostral's wounds were severe. Cauterized perforation of the upper ventricle, ocular damage from oxygen exposure, catastrophic muscular and nerve damage to the left forearm. Fortunately, he received treatment from the most brilliant, skilled, and <clears throat> handsome doctor in the entire galaxy, so he's gonna pull through. 
Oh, there must not have been any mirrors in the room, or you would have never made it past your reflection to the operating table. Thank you, Doc. I mean it. That's what I do. The soldiers are still digging through some of the worst of the damage to the library. Torrell, Raina, and Z are still missing, and I can't sense them. That makes 15. I'll update again when we finish clearing the rubble. The old man was right to bring us here. We needed this time to heal. And to remember what makes us Jedi. We've hidden long enough. The evil of the Sith doesn't stop just because we aren't there to oppose them. Quite the opposite. I'm no master, and I can't speak for the Order, but I can say this. The Republic needs the help of the Jedi. So let me be the first to volunteer. I am deeply honored to accept. I'll have quarters prepared for any Jedi who wish to join you aboard my flagship. We're already packed, and I think this will end up being a much more worthy destination. Commander, thank you. Without you, this would have been a much darker day for us all. I probably won't be there next time. And this war is only going to get worse from here. I don't plan to wait around for the Sith to attack again. May the Force be with you. When the dawn came, the Zell awakened and saw the tongs upon the high place and were afraid. For the morning light caught the glint of helms and weapons and created phantom warriors made of dazzle and distance. But the cleverest of them were not deceived. The Empire thought they could make this a grand first strike in their renewed war against us. They hoped to destroy the Jedi, to destroy us with fear before we ever faced them in open battle. Thanks to you, they failed. The Jedi are renewed allies of the Republic. Our people have seen that the Sith are vulnerable whenever we stand united. This war will be dark and brutal and vicious. But we will stand against that darkness together. Together, we will win. Ma king sa le kova kava dompa stompa, ni just kupa flota lista. We nu wa tam we ne te ze boa ka no ze ze, we hu la kwe, ma ze ze me.